Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and in today's video we're going to be looking at some 3D printed tanks. Um, now I'm, I'm not the most technologically able person in the world shall we say. Um, people that know me already know this. Uh, my mobile phone is like a brick and is steam powered. I still listen to CDs and a Snickers will always be a marathon. That's not, te te that's not technology, that's just me showing my age, but you get the idea. But with 3D printing, I was always intrigued by 3D printing and the, the roads it would make in, in, in our hobby. Um, but I've never, I've never really worked on any or painted any until now. So these were very, very kindly given to me um, as a sort of late birthday present um, by my regular game op opponent, Ian. Um, the other half of On Point HQ. Um, and so I thought, because these are my first, well, the first time I've worked on, on 3D printed um, tanks or vehicles, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you exactly what I've been up to and what these are like. So let me just cheer you with the camera here. So what are these? So these are from Paint and Glue Miniatures. Now I've been aware of the company for well, a good while now, but I've never actually got round to ordering anything. Luckily, Ian has saved me the job of, of, of ordering anything by kindly buying these for me. Cheers, mate. Um, so what are these? Now, these are three French uh, AMR 35 uh, light tanks. I think they were used in a, a sort of reconnaissance role in the early days of World War II. Um, now, I'm in the middle of restoring my, my French bolt action army. So these are going to be really, really handy. And what I like about them best, they're little zippy tanks. That's what so adds that for me. That's early war. Small zippy tanks vrooming all over the battlefield. You don't get any more zippier than these. So I thought I'd show you exactly what they look like, um, how they went together, etc. Then show you one that I've painted just to show you how well these paint up. So this this particular kit comes in in four pieces. Um, so the hull is a separate piece, uh, two track sections, and the turret. Um, really good quality um I, I believe it's plastic um or resin i'm not i think it, i think it might be plastic i'm really not sure what these are made of if anyone can uh, <laughs> can enlighten me i'd be very interested to know but they feel like plastic um but they're really really great great kits um i was i, I was blown away by just how good these are um the detail is fantastic on them and they went together really, really well. Clean up was about you know, less less than five minutes on each, on each tank, and it was just you know some some just bits of pl uh, flash, I believe it, it would be called, and um, particularly on the on the tracks, but not much time at all. It went together really, really easily, and they're crammed full of detail. As you can see, they're really, really good. I know some people say, oh, um, you know, three D prints are going to have that striation pattern um and that's true the, the, these these do but you can barely notice it i mean you can literally barely notice it i i, I was so impressed with them so putting them together i couldn't wait to get some paint on them because they were it's it, it saved me so much time and having to build a kit um they, they went together in, in minutes and i've got i've got a, a platoon of, of of tanks now um but there we go. Just use, I just use normal super glue to, to glue them together. Like I said, they come in four four pieces, really well detailed. Um, I love the rivets on them as well. It's just, yeah, I am massively impressed with how good these are. So, what what do they look like painted, and how well do they paint up? Well, I've painted one, and here it is. As you can see, that does not look like a three D printed tank. The paint went on really, really well, just like I was painting a normal, a normal kit actually. Um, and I'm really, really impressed. I can't wait to paint. I can't. I really can't wait to paint the other two. I had a, a, a great deal of fun painting these. As you can see, I've gone for sort of the the, the, the classic French camouflage style. Whenever I do French camouflage, I don't do it as bright as some of um, some photographs I've seen. I, I just don't. I just don't like bright colours. So I've just used. Um, three colours. If anyone's interested in the colours I used, it was the um, the base colour is Vallejo Green Brown. 
The green is a mixture of um, olive, um, US olive drab and bronze green. And the brown is um, Vallejo burnt umber. It was given a wash. It was a 50-50 wash of Agrax Earth Shade and Reichland Flesh Shade. And then over the green parts, I went over that with a Thonian Camo Shade. Um, some very basic highlights. And then what I do with all my French vehicles, I went in with some um, weathering pigments and brushed it all over the, the hull and the track to give it a bit of summer weathering, shall we, shall we say. But that's how they paint up. Um, I've not based this yet. I don't. I've not. I don't know what size base to put on. But I base all my vehicles. <laughs> Controversial question. Um, but that, that's that's it. That's that's the finished product. And that took me less than an hour to paint. Um, it was it was that easy. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. So. Rather quick fire. I wouldn't call it a review. Just having a look at them. But these, like I can say they're from. Um, I'll put a link to the the um, the website in the description below. So it's painting glue miniatures. And these are my first ever experience with three D printed tanks or vehicles or three D printed anything. Um, when, when you come to think of it, um, and I'm, I'm absolutely yeah, I'm made up. Um, these are thoroughly recommended though. Uh, if you're after some obscure. <laughs> Uh, you know, not often modelled um, tanks or, or vehicles. Um, Paint and glue miniatures has a, a staggering array of such you know w strange vehicles that you wouldn't normally see on like a standard um, gaming website or even a model website. Um, but there we go. Um, me and 3D, 3D printed models, um, I am very, very impressed. And I would definitely give these um, a 10 out of 10. I just love them. They're so good to work on. The detail's fantastic. And they paint up really, really, very nicely. So I can't wait to get the other two painted and added to my um, ongoing French army. Got any comments or questions about these or gaming in general? Just leave them down below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. Um, down below, you'll also find a link to our new Facebook group. So feel free to wamble on over and join and join us in some gaming chat. It's always always good for a, a bit a bit of um, a bit of gaming chat then. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. Do take care. May your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So bye bye for now.